Welcome back from your run. Let's shift your weight onto your right leg, lift your left leg up. Just start to give it a little shake. Start down at the foot, shake, shake, shake. And then slowly try to move that shake up the leg and then just really shake the whole thing out. And then the other side, shake, shake. Try to focus on the foot, the ankle to start. And then move that shake up the leg. Give your butt cheek a little shake. And then we'll set that down. Left arm, start at the wrist. Then move all the way up the arm. Shoulder blade, shake it out. And then the other side, right arm, shake, shake. Move it up the arm, shoulder blade. And give everything a good shake. All right, then step the feet nice and wide apart. Feet parallel. Reach your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers and press up through the heels of your palms. Little bend to one side and then the other. Do that a few times. So really the best thing you can do immediately post-run is to get outside your usual range of motion, which is straightforward. So it's simply stepping your feet wide apart, super helpful for that. Come to center. Let's grab your left wrist and bend over to the right. Pull your roots in so you're not back bending. You're not leaning forward, you're right in the center. The bend is coming from the middle of your rib cage. Push down through your left foot. Big inhale. And as you exhale, let's circle that all the way around. We'll do that a few times. Circle all the way around. Make sure the knees are bent a little bit. Weight stays even between your feet. Relax your neck. The first few might feel more awkward and then slowly the movement becomes a little more fluid as the spine and your shoulders start to loosen their grip. Lift it up. Let's change sides. So take the right wrist over to the left. Pull the front ribs in. Push down through the right foot. Get that nice stretch all the way down the right side of your waist. Big inhale. Exhale, let's circle it down and up. Nice and slow. Breathing deeply. Smooth it out. Up to center. And arms out and back. Interlace your fingers, press down through the knuckles, lift your chest. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, puff up the chest. And exhale, feel your shoulder blades move back a little bit further. Two more deep breaths. So you have the shape, the setup of the stretch. And just breathing bigger will deepen the stretch. Inhale, reach overhead. And exhale, arms out and back again. Interlace the fingers and then undo that clasp. Get the other thumb on top. Press down and back. Breathe deeply. So it's the non-habitual interlace of your fingers, which might feel kind of awkward. That's okay. Get outside your habitual patterns here. So helpful for creating a little more balance in the body. One more big breath. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, arms out and down. Grab your thighs, turn them in just a little bit. Slightly pigeon toe through the feet, bend the knees, come on down, hands to the floor. Bend the knees a little more, straighten the legs a little bit. A little bend, a little stretch. Relax your neck. So the head will really drop here. A couple more times, bend and stretch. Really draw the circulation into your hamstrings. You're pushing down through the feet to extend the legs rather than just forcing your knees back for three, for two, and one. Straighten the legs, fold down. Three deep breaths here. So that, that small internal rotation through the feet is just a more gentle way to begin your hamstring stretching, especially if the hammies are feeling pretty stiff post-workout. And then pivot on the heels, turn the feet parallel, fold down. Give your spine a little sway side to side. Encourage more fluidity through the spine. Relax the neck. 
Come to stillness, interlace your fingers, bring the hands to the back of the head, the base of the skull, gently squeeze the sides of your head with your forearms and gently pull down. Open your mouth, relax your jaw, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more like that. Reducing any tension through the neck, through the face. One more big breath. Release the hands, drop the head. One more breath here, feel your hamstrings really push down through the feet. Lengthen the spine halfway up. Knees soft, hands to your hips. Come on up. Heel toe the feet, back toward each other. And then head to a wall or a tree if you're outside or a fence. Whatever you've got nearby. Bring your hands onto the wall. We'll step your right foot forward and your left leg back. You need to be far back enough so that your arms will be straight and your torso nearly parallel to the floor. Push down through your left heel. So that's our anchor. Keep the heel down, bend the left knee a little more, straighten the leg a little bit. A few times, a little bend, a little stretch. So you wanna focus again on that anchor down through the heel and see if you can feel into the calf a little bit now. Give those calves a little love. Straighten the leg and stay. Now push the floor away from you with your right foot as you straighten the right leg more. Push more into your right hand and take your right hip away from your right shoulder, leveling your hips. And relax your neck. Look at the place where the wall and the floor meet. It's generally a nice neutral spot. Breathe deeply so you should feel more stretched along the outside of your right leg, kind of that IT band pocket area. Three deep breaths. Keep pushing down through both feet. Bend the right knee a little more and step your left foot forward. Pause. Feel the difference between both sides for a moment. And then step your right leg back. Push down through the right heel. Make that nice anchor. Then bend the right knee a little more. Straighten the leg. Little bend, little extend. A few more like that. Just really focusing on the calf, the Achilles. Bringing a little bit more circulation to that area, helping to kind of pump any excess fluid out of there. Post run for two. And one, straighten the leg and stay. Now really push through the left foot as you straighten the left leg. Push more through the left hand and feel your left hip move back away from the left shoulder. Nice long spine. Breathe. Focus on where you feel the stretch happening. Be specific. Two more deep breaths. forward. Again, pausing just to feel both sides. And then give everything one more little shake. So that we maintain this sense of balance and fluidity. Nicely done. Namaste.